Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful earrings and they are made only out of 6mm beads and 11 0 seed beads really easy materials and I will show you step by step I'm sure it will be easy for you to make them I know recently I'm making more earrings but have in mind that everything I do as an earring you could use as a pendant, uh, make it ring or use it in uh, necklace projects and anything else. So if you watch one of my uh, rig tutorials you will know how to turn this one into a ring instead of earring. So now if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and also like share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of you that comment and have any questions and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials Please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be really happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay, so for this tutorial what you're going to need are 6mm pearls or beads. Uh, these are 12 for a pair of earrings. And I'm using three colors of 11 OC beads. And I really like this combination of colors. And uh, I need size 10 beading needle. I'm using here monofilament and uh, liver bags, your wires that are liver bags, and uh, scissors, of course. And uh, I use flat nose pliers to squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle. If you use different type of flat beading thread, you won't need the pliers. And now I'm going to start by taking a, about uh, an arm span of thread on my needle, and I'll be back. Okay, now I have about an arm span of thread on my needle and what I'm going to do is take six of these pearls. Okay, now I'm going to slide them down. I will leave a small tail here. I'm going to make a knot here and I will make my knot by making a loop and going with my tail thread once and then second time through the loop I've made and then I'm going to pull and when I pull I have this I have a beautiful circle of beads there okay now what I want to do is take red seed bead and go through this pearl here then another red seed bead going through the following one and I will continue until the end of this row Okay, and now I'm exiting here from one of my red seed beads and what I want to do is take two silver seed beads. Okay, just like that. And I'm going through this red one in circle. Okay, now I have this. And what I want to do is go through one of my silvers. And I will continue here with what we call herringbone stitch. So I'm taking two beads and I'm going back through one of my newly added beads from my previous row and then go back through this silver and through the other silver. Okay. I hope you see. And then I will repeat this one more time. Take two seed beads, going back through one of my silvers from my previous row, and then back through these two silvers at the end, and take one red bead, just like that. 
okay then one more time go back through this silver and through the red one here then through the whole row down there the whole row of three and I'm pulling now this is what I have then I'm going through the red one through the following pearl or bead whatever you use and through the red seed bead and I'm going to repeat this take two seed beads go back through this red one and pull this is what you have and make two more rows of herringbone stitch so I'm going through this silver taking two more seed beads going back through the other silver Okay. then through these two here I need two more go back through one of my silvers and then back again through these two seed beads and add a red one here and you after you add the red one you could directly go down there if you want okay and then through the red one and through the pearl and through the next red one okay guys now I'm gonna continue doing this until the end of this row and I'll be back. If you forgot how I did these two parts here, just rewind this video and continue from here on watching the same steps and you, you will be able, able to do them. Okay, I'll be back in a while. Okay guys, and when I repeated this process four more times, now this is what I have and now I'm, I'm exiting out of here and I wanna go through this red one. Okay. and I will connect all my red beads here I'm just going with my needle through all of them okay okay now this is what I have and I'm going to go several times around this circle reinforcing it okay just like that and now what I want to do is go through some silver beads in this direction let's say through these three and I'm pulling pull tight okay and now I want to go through this red one and through one of my pearls here let's say through this one okay and what I need to do here is take seven silver seed beads and I have my seven and I'm going back through this pearl now this is what I have then I'm going to the following pearl and I need seven more ok 
Okay, I have seven. And I'm going back through this pearl. And through the following one. If you can do this in one movement or in two movements, whatever you prefer. Okay. I will show you one more time. Seven. going back to this one and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay guys and now I'm adding my last seven beads from this row and what I want to do next is go through all of those beads in backwards okay in this direction and I will exit here. One silver bead before the end, okay? And I will take one red bead and I'm going not through this silver but through the other one. Just like that. Okay, now this is what I have. Then I'm going through these two here as well. And I will take one more red. And go not through this silver, but through the other one. Then through these three. And I need one more red. Going through all of these. Okay, one red, okay, then one more. Okay, and now I'm here where I will add my last red one, just like that. Okay, now I have this. If you want, you could go one more time around these beads, if you feel that you should make it uh, stiffer. And now... I will add my edge here of black beads so for my edge I need eight seed beads okay I have my eight here and as I'm exiting from this red bead I'm going through the other red one Just like that okay now I have eight here and I will continue adding more beads I have another eight and as I'm exiting from this red one I'm going to the next one okay just like that and I will continue adding my edge and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and I added my row of 8 and one additional step that you might want to do is go around all of this edge and make it stronger, okay? And to make it stay in the right direction, okay? So I will go one more time around this edge and I'll be back to show you how to attach your ear wire. 
Okay guys, and I went around reinforcing my edge of beads here. And have in mind that sometimes seed beads, even from one and the same brand, but different lots, uh, differ in size. So if you need to add nine beads here, uh, and it will be better if your beads are smaller, just do it. Um, here in my case, I'm adding eight. So now I want to attach my ear wire. And now as I'm exiting here, my thread is exiting here after this red bead. I will take one C bead. I will take my ear wire, slide it down, take one more, and go back through this red one here. And now what I want to do is reinforce this joint three times. Okay. And after I do this, it's time to make my knots. Okay. And... I want to make my knots by going here at the back of the earring. Uh, in fact, the back is also beautiful. And choose a place between some beads. You could even go here in the center and choose some plates here, but I will show you faster here at the edge. So I'm making a loop and I'm going once, then I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. And I will continue with more and more knots and when I'm ready I will cut my thread. Okay guys, now both of our earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also like, share and comment. And I promise I'll answer to all of you that comment and have any questions. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.